I'm Ariane Arambura with your FastCast Digital Headlines for this Wednesday. Taking a look at today's top stories that we're following in a vote of 8 to 3, the Anchorage Assembly approved a lease agreement to operate the Sullivan Arena again. That means O'Malley Ice and Sports Center LLC would operate not just the Sullivan, but Ben Boki and the Anderson Ice Arena as well. Mayor Dave Bronson announced the agreement in August, but the Assembly had concerns with the structure of the agreement such as the Bronson administration did not seek some assembly approval previously for the agreement because O'Malley's compensation is based upon projected revenue. Another concern is that O'Malley could terminate its agreement with the municipality at any time with limited notice. The lease agreement is for five years at roughly $1.5 million. And the lease and snow and wintry weather, weather is moving in, posing significant impacts on people experiencing homelessness in Anchorage, in particular those living out of tents, cars and campers at Cuddy Park. According to Anchorage Housing and Homeless Coordinator Alexis Johnson, there are still vacant beds in the old Solid Waste Services building. She maintains the municipality will continue outreach for people living in encampments, but they will not provide additional sites or warming centers until the old Solid Waste Services building is full. Continuing to live unsheltered outdoors in cold climates uh, is detrimental to one's personal safety and personal health. And so we always advocate to get people inside. We have Anchorage Health Department outreach, uh, making the rounds, trying to communicate to people that there is still shelter space available and that they should seek shelter instead of remaining outside. I see just a whole lot of uh, hurt people, uh, people that are suffering. And uh, I don't think a lot of people know, you know what I mean? Um, there's lack of food, uh, lack of resources. As the cold weather approaches, a group in the Valley is looking to help veterans who might need a little assistance staying warm or maybe just want to talk. The Winter Preparedness Project is designed to help veterans in the Matsu with deliveries of firewood or fuel, plowing or shoveling snow, and just basic camaraderie, which many veterans, particularly the elderly, lack. They're also looking for volunteers to help with the Winter Preparedness Program. And those are your FastCast digital headlines for this Wednesday. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau. Have a great day and thanks for watching.